Uh huh. Look at Nicki Minaj and Cardi B and Dorico Nasty and all kinds of bitches like Lil KU. Stealing my lyrics. Stealing. Start up stealing my lyrics. Uh, Aaron Co. Stole my lyrics. Um, you know, like, uh, Doja Cat stole my lyrics. And so did Light Skin Keisha. And Eminem and Mercules. And even Suicide Boy stole my lyrics. So what are these basic ass bums doing? Trying to steal my shine, trying to steal my thunder, trying to steal my role that I'm trying to be on. As far as a music producer, as far as a lyricist can go, I should have already won that gold medal for all the lyrics that I provide, which are actually good. Easy Max stole my lyrics. Uh, you can believe whatever you want. That is like your prerogative. But I'll tell you the truth and they all stole my lyrics. So what the fuck are they trying to do? Like, take everything from me? Like, first of all, they're selling their fucking ass and tits. Because, you know, they want to believe that they're perfect in the eyes of God. And if God believes that they write their own lyrics, then that means God believes lies. Because I'm not so dumb that I don't realize what's going on here. As far as fake idols are involved, uh, they're all fake idols. All the rap stars. Who else steals lyrics? Um... Baby Goth, Marley Quinn, Chains. And of course, who else? Uh, the wonderful. The wonderful Tyga stole my lyrics. The one that you all think you know and love. Who else? There's so many of them. Uh... I can name a few more, uh, Jelly Roll stole my lyrics, like none of these dudes can, dudes or bitches can rap it, it's just like pissing me off that they're getting all this credit for rapping when they do not rap, they don't rap, they don't write lyrics, and they just steal lyrics, so. I just want everyone to know that when will they start realizing the truth that they all steal lyrics and I don't want to hear it it infuriates my soul and it makes me feel bold enough to stand up and say it's getting old. Yeah, and it's getting old because until I get credit for writing the lyrics, I'm not writing anymore, and you guys can just, like, get shitty-ass music instead. Fucking, like, no depth 
music, you know, like, but if you want my styles, you're gonna have to pay for it, and I'm not letting a bunch of bum-ass, crust-ass bitches getting away, get away with all that I've created. They can sit their high and mighty ass down. They can... Pretty much uh, stop driving around in expensive cars because I don't even have a license or a car and I deserve one for all the glory to be mine as it should be. You know, doesn't that make sense? that the creator and writer of all your favorite music actually gets credit and appreciation and maybe some gifts, some money, some sort of reaction from the crowd that is positive. Because, you know, all I see is you giving my money away to other people and giving my fame away to other people. As far as the music industry goes, they need to do something about that. Cause I'm not gonna put up with a bunch of stupid ass bitches getting away with probably billions of dollars with my stuff. And there are tons of other random songs that I've created that, you know, I never got credit for either. And I just want to tell you that it should be a hell throughout the day to bellow. The color yellow isn't special anymore. So please let me know what I get besides people stealing my lyrics. And maybe we'll talk about me writing lyrics for y'all again. And I don't know who this black K, who this black D Trinata girl is, but they're actually my lyrics that D Trinata has. And I don't know why they paint her as a black girl. Or why they think she's black because she's actually white. And I won't be fooled into thinking I'm not cool. So, you know, if you actually appreciate lyrics, that came from me. Tupac even stole my lyrics, so I guess that pretty much sums up the fact that Lyrics came out even after his death and they thought he would be the greatest lyricist of all time and, you know, things got pretty hot and heavy anyway, so I'm not saying that his death was overlooked, but it kind of was as far as rap goes. And that's just because the people of 2000 and on are taking over the future and I don't agree with it, but... I mean, that's what happens when you let a bunch of bimbos and flimsy-dicked protege, prototype, uh, hoe-type bitches up in the music industry to do all the work for you. You get travesty upon travesty and no answers as to when we're getting new music 
and we better just hope that it's not all crap because it's going to be all crap as long as I'm not making it and every time I log in I expect to get money for my time put in and I'm not getting it so enjoy lyricless music bye y'all